It's okay. noon 05. It's Whiskey Wednesday from the Whiskey. I got this. Hold on. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> You're halfway through the work week, it's Whiskey Wednesday, and it's time to drink. I'm Dan. I'm Eddie. We're the Deathless Dogs. Today we're revisiting the Whiskey Row series from Old Forester with Old Forester 1920. If you'll recall, in our second review, we reviewed Old Forester 1910. I figured we better get into the 1920 because... It's starting to disappear. He likes this one a lot. Much like all the other Old Foresters I've had so far, this is a very enjoyable whiskey. We're about halfway there. Oh, on a prayer. And I thought we better review this one. I think the hype train on Old Forester is starting to roll, and that makes me happy. It is a quality product. The 1920, they are saying, is Prohibition style. And what this is, is in Prohibition times, the head distiller, Owlsley Brown. Owlsley? Ow, I don't know. Owlsley. Yeah, it's a cool name. Owl? Like Z the bird. Zlee. Zlee. How many Owlsleys do you know? Because I know none. Zero. But he got a permit to distilled medicinal whiskey. And this is kind of a throwback to that sort of style he was doing. The only way you could get a whiskey distilling permit is if it was medicinal. I feel like medicinal whiskey is something that should come back. Like if I could just get prescribed whiskey and be at work, like, no, no, no. <laughs> it says on the bottle here that the traditional barrel proof of the time was about 115 proof, which is what this is coming in at. Let's get into it because I do love this stuff. But what I am getting is I'm getting a lot of caramel notes. Yeah. I'm getting those toffee notes mm -hmm. that some people talk about. Maybe a little bit of roasted nuts. Very smooth, very refined. I would say almost elegant. Can I go there? I could go with elegant because for being 115 proof, it's not lighting your nose hair on fire. No. You know? I mean, if you really dig into it, you'll get a little bit. Just go. Yeah. If you <laughs> drinking it through our nose like Steve-O. Ooh. Caramel, a little bit of nuts, some, a little bit of a, uh, a sweet banana kind of thing comes through in the back end, but the nose is predominantly the caramel, I would say. Almost a buttery caramel. Yeah. Homemade. I feel like it's autumnal. I'm using big words today. Am I right though? Like Autumnal? I suppose you could go there. It's like um, not a cold weather necessarily vibe that I'm getting, but like it's getting there. We're talking Thanksgiving. Yeah. I think we should get into it because I really want to drink this. All right. Clank them and drink them. Before we started filming today, this review, I kind of was talking about how Brown Foreman, who owns Old Forester, kind of butters their bread on Jack Daniels. That's their big money maker. Yeah. But I have to say, like, I really think Old Forester might be their best product. My first taste of the 1920 here, just, I'm going back to elegant. This is a great bourbon right here. While it's not burning you on the nose, there is a good amount of heat when you're drinking it. And I take this flavor back to Bananas Foster is what it tastes like to me. You're getting that banana note and like the caramel burnt sugar and some nuttiness. It all comes together in just, I mean, it's so good. Bananas Foster, that's not like you're saying nuttiness, but that's more like a pecan nuttiness, right? Right. Yeah, and you like flambe it with, you know. I understand exactly where you're coming from. The complexity of this whiskey, it hits you at all angles. Well worth the, what did you say, $50 price point? It's somewhere in the 50s. I've seen it in different spots for like 52 55 57 I would happily spend $52 on this and not regret it. No a second. No regrets on the purchase at all. 1910, you gave the the flavor note of smoked puppy chow. Right. 1920, I'm calling it bananas foster. Completely different flavor profiles, but completely smooth, drinkable whiskey. 115 proof. Like, this is a heavy hitter, and I'm not getting much of the tingling or anything. Like, it is no. so smooth. It's given me a little bit of the tingle on my lips, but not 
you know, I'm not like numbed out like you get on some of them. Right. A lot of people say this is their favorite in the Whiskey Row series. I don't know if this or 1910 are my is would be my favorite in the series. I think it would depend on what day it was. I would strongly recommend to anyone who's looking to drink more bourbons or whiskey in general to explore the Old Forester catalog. While the Whiskey Row series does command a higher price point, they do have lower priced whiskeys that are still fantastic. Everything I've had thus far has not disappointed. I love this whiskey. This one in 1910 would be two of my favorites that I've had over the last year. 2020 is not a complete loss. No. No. <laughs> yeah, 1920, we're in 2020. We're 100 years later. Than... 100 years later and the whiskey is still great. Have you like seen all the memes online that are like, you guys asked for 1920. Now you've got a stock market crash, yeah, a plague, and you can't go to bars. Knee slappers. Uh, no, we didn't ask to be the Roaring Twenties. That was just fedora dorks. I need to wear this hat and not be ridiculed. I want to go outside and play my trumpet. Yeah. So thanks. Yeah, thanks, fedora thanks for dorks. That. I'm going to blame them. Can we do that? Yeah, I'm not going to question it. it just, All right. We'll just blame them. Yeah. You can blame a guy in a fedora for anything, I think your fault given that we're north of 100 proof here again i think we should just add a little bit of water i think the sweetness comes out a little more with the water i think it gives it a bit of a creamy element that it was otherwise lacking without the water really Kicked up the vanilla a little yeah bit, which isn't bananas foster usually served like on ice cream i don't think we even need to do the would you buy it again i think you already know we can't recommend this one enough if you see this in a store and you're a bourbon drinker, pick it up. I think you'd be hard-pressed to find someone disappointed in the purchase of this bottle. Everybody who is willing to try whiskey of any level would probably enjoy this. I think the high proof might be a tough hill to climb for somebody who's not used to drinking bourbon straight. But if you're somebody who's been you know, getting into different bourbons and you'd see this, this is maybe a little bit out of your price range that you'd usually spend, take the leap. I. I think you'll you'll be happy you did. From the Western Wisconsin Whiskey Emporium for ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Like I was doing good and now I'm just like feeling the booze.